Hey guys, today we are in Townsend, Tennessee at Good Vibes on the River. We've heard a lot of good things about this place. Never been here before. So we are here for breakfast and you are coming with us. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Here are the hours. Closed on Monday and Thursday. Open at 7.30 to 2 all the other days. We're back here. Beautiful outside seating. Look at this view. Right on the river. Cannot beat this for breakfast. And there's a nice little table up there too. Have some candles lit. Cute little place. Let's look at the menu at Good Vibes on the River Cafe and Bakery. Traditional favorites. They use cage-free eggs, applewood bacon, and swaggerty sausage patties. Sunrise breakfast, country fried steak, country ham, biscuits and gravy. They have a breakfast sandwich and a build-your-own breakfast burrito. Take a look and see the sunrise breakfast. Breakfast sandwich, country fried steak. Now let's go over here. Healthy starts. Look at that, it looks really healthy. Avocado toast, an oatmeal, a healthy banana split, breakfast sides. You can add a few things if you want to. French toast, they have traditional and stuffed French toast. Look at these pancakes. These blueberry ones look amazing. So there's the traditional ones. They have cinnamon swirl, blueberry streusel, pecan. Now, if you want some lunch, have some burgers. So lighter fare, they have salads and soup of the day. Some sandwiches, they have a grilled cheese, a ham and cheese grill. Lunch sides, dirty potato chips. And they serve Coke. All right, guys, the food has arrived and look at that. Two eggs, potatoes, look at that country ham couple pieces of toast but look at Bobby's over there Bobby they loaded you up on that but they did you have a couple scratch made pancakes with homemade lemon butter and streusel and a couple sausages and fresh blueberries and are... before I forget yeah homemade syrup over there two nice size pancakes let's take a look yeah, those are big. I don't want to put the maple syrup on it yet because I want to taste this because it's a lemon butter. A that yeah, get some of that streusel. There's plenty of that on there. Let's see. So the streusel, the lemon butter, good flavors together. The, just some sweetness. The nice, light, fluffy pancakes. I'm going to try a little bit of their... Yeah, homemade syrup. syrup. They make here. Ooh, that comes out good. quick. <laughs> that I'm gonna dip my really... sausage in that later. Sausage looks nice too. Mm -hmm. Now I like the glaze they put on there. It reminds me of a, a lemon flavor. You can see all those blueberries. Now with that being a homemade maple syrup, I thought it'd be really sweet, but it's not. But I do like it. I'm gonna dip it later. You see sausage that? In there. I've got two sausage patties. Nice and crisp. Two nice size. You like dipping those in the maple syrup. Mm -hmm. well, that's a pretty good meal, huh? 
the sausage has a lot of flavor going on. Not too spicy on the sausage for you, because no. sometimes you complain that the sausage might be a little too spicy. Kind of reminds me of uh, Bob Evans, and I've got caffeinated coffee. Doesn't have coffee with me. Let's start off with these potatoes here. Plenty of seasoning on there. You can see some pepper. Nice flavor to them. They're not overly crisp. Just have like soft texture. It has a nice pepper flavor to it when you eat it. A couple eggs. Look like they're done perfectly. Oh, look at that. That's how to do eggs. It's not runny at all. Here's what I want. Cades Cove Ham. It's from a local company. Smokehouse is in Cades Cove, so this ought to be pretty daggone good. Nice piece of ham. Everything is hot. Just came out. If you guys like country ham, you're going to like that. Salty flavor. It's a decent size piece of ham. That's a good breakfast. The $12.95 cannot go wrong with that. I love that ham. We're going to have to bring a cooler down here sometime. Find that Cades Cove ham in the stores around here and take some of that home. What did you want to show everybody, Bobby? I wanted everyone to see underneath the top pancake how many blueberries are under there. And also look inside there. Tons of blueberries. They did not shortchange you at all. Nice view out this way, but a storm is coming pretty soon. But we're covered. We're not going to worry about it. Bobby shared with me a piece of sausage. I poured some maple syrup on there. I love sausage. Buckwheat Festival is coming up. I love it up there. We'll try it. Now, I don't like the Buckwheat Festival mm -hmm. uh, sausage. It's too plain. This, this is better. It does have a lot of nice spices going on in there. Uh -uh. I like it. That's pretty good sausage, and I like the maple syrup. It's not too sweet. That's how we eat sausage. We pour syrup on ours. Beautiful morning setting out here. It's a little bit of wind because it's going to storm, but look at the beautiful flowers. Another artificial, but it does make the table setting look nice. I'm going to try some of Bobby's pancakes. What I like about these, I like she said, there's blueberries baked right into them. So there's an abundance of blueberries. But if you like blueberry pancakes, you should love these. That streusel that's on here, it's going to give it a sweet taste. That bite had so many blueberries in it, and they were fresh. The pancake is still warm, even though Bobby's been eating on it. That's good. There's a lot there. Two pretty good sized pancakes. I think Bobby could probably only eat one of those. I would have a hard time eating both those pancakes. Yeah, I just usually eat one but anytime those are, I go anywhere. There's a lot but there on those yeah, pancakes. They're thick. Let's look at her receipt here at Good Vibes on the River in Townsend, Tennessee. Bobby's Coffee, $2.49. Blueberry Pancakes, $10.99. My Country Ham, $13.95. We added on the sausage for $3.99. Grand total, $34.56. Cinnamon raisin danishes. Cinnamon rolls for $4.39. And chocolate chip cookies for $1.99. Now to locate Good Vibes, it's directly across the street from the Townsend Fire Department and right beside the Black Bear Cafe. It's a little hidden place, but it's worth coming to.
Well, we're about ready to leave. Good vibes on the river here in Townsend, Tennessee. What did you think about it? I want to give a shout out to the staff. They were very busy this morning, but keeping up, they did a great job. We got to sit out by the river, which was nice and peaceful. We got to hear the, the leaves falling off the trees. Well, that's a great way to start your morning. And what I like about local places like this, they give you large proportions of food, don't they, John? They do. I mean, if you go away hungry, that's your, that's your fault. Mm -hmm. I had the two blueberry pancakes. They had plenty of blueberries in the batter. When I cut into it, you could just see layers of that. The sausage, the coffee. I would just stop in and get the coffee if they'd give you a to-go cup. Now, me, the country ham was excellent. Now, if you like salty ham, you're going to love this. I like sugar ham, too, but this is good country ham. Potatoes are done perfectly. The eggs, there was no runniness part of that. Like Bobby said, the atmosphere is sitting next to the river. You could have sat inside, mm -hmm. but why would you? Sit outside and you can see the leaves yeah. falling. Enjoy the nature. Yeah, you can hear stuff falling on the tin roof, I think, because I can hear it echoing. I'm glad we came out here. It's just a few miles outside of Pigeon Forge, a beautiful drive out here in Townsend. You guys need to come and check this place out. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building.